Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this new build that I've got for my Revenant. Now, this is including the helm of system, and this is a really good build to use because you can see by the background footage, I am just in, like basically instantly killing these enemies really quick. It is really easy for me to kill these enemies. I'm not having no problem at all with them. So now for the build that we have is we have a Warcry. Now the reason why we have Warcry on it is because Warcry is just a really good um, ability to have. And the reason why I put it on my Revenant is because I really like Revenant. And you can literally basically not die with this build. So now the reason why I'm saying you cannot die is because if you have your Mesmer skin always activated, then obviously you're not going to be able to die by that. You got your reeve for say for example you take health down uh, your health goes down you can use your reeve. Uh, you could probably uh, use warcry on inf uh, swap uh, infrared for warcry and have your still have your ultimate because the ultimate is still really good for damage. But I prefer to take it off because I don't really use it a lot. So this is the build that we did use. We had umbral vitality, umbral intensify, prime flow, and blind rage. Internal War, Rolling Guard, and Streamline. Now, the reason why we had inter um, Rolling Guard on here is because for that just in case. Now, we're not really going to be using that a lot, but it's that just in case that we do need to use it because, say, for example, our Mesmer skin is about is deactivated and there's a lot of enemies, we can quickly roll, put Mesmer skin back on, we're good. So, now the reason why we've got Internal War on as well is so basically we don't have to keep popping Warcry over and over and over and over again. Just because basically, once you've got Internal War on and you have a decent melee, you're not going to run out of your Warcry. Your Warcry is basically not going to end, most likely. So, now you're probably looking at this build and you're like, you have no duration, you have negative efficiency, and you have uh, no range. Now, the reason why is because I wanted to get as much power strength as I can because. And our Mesmer skin, number of charges. Now, we want to have the highest amount of number of charges. What right here is we've got 13. Uh, Reeve as well, health drain. That's really nice to have for the 87% health drain. You could use this as a damage, but it's not that as that good. But And same for our Warcry, we want to have the highest amount of stuff that we can have on the Warcry. So, speed increase, armor increase, and speed decrease. So, this is just really good to have. Armor increase, that actually really did help out quite a lot. Because when I was in the game, a lot of the times I'll run out of... Uh, my music came all run out, and I wouldn't use my uh, rolling guard, and it kind of, it kind of didn't take me, it didn't like instantly kill me, so that was pretty good. So this is the Cronin Prime build that we did use. So now the reason why uh, I like having Warcry on is because we don't have to put on Prime Fury for to have a decent amount of attack speed, because now once I've got that Warcry on my Revenant, I don't have to put a attack speed build, um, attack speed on. Because I could put on an extra thing, say for example, organ shatter or more crit damage or more, I don't know, a 60 60 mod or whatever. So, this is the build that we use. We use Blood Rush, Prime Reach, Organ Shatter, Drifting Contact, Condition Overload, Weeping Wounds, and Sacrificial Steel and Berserker. Now, you don't have to use Berserker if you don't want to. I personally like to have it because I like to have really a fast attack speed, personally. And it kind of did work out really well. It's kind of really good. Sacrificial steel, you don't have to have that on if you don't want to. You could have, like I said earlier, like a 60-60 mod or something like that. Or you could add a heal and return on there because then you're, you're more or less kind of hard, really hard to kill. You're not like complete god mode because obviously complete god mode, you'd have to go for ages and ages and ages to try and find if you, could, if you are complete god mode. So now, this build is really good to use. One, the melee is just really, really good. Now, you are basically with this build easy mode you're not going to die in easy mode if you're playing it right and you're just paying attention you're not going to die in easy mode hard mode you could possibly die in hard mode i haven't died yet i've used this build loads of times going through just like bosses and going through just doing normal stuff like farming resources and all that haven't died in it and uh yeah that's basically been the build guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like if you enjoy and make sure you do subscribe if you want to see more of the builds that I do. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.